Welcome to Talk Fun. We're going to make our um, fog machine bigger. Better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be the cameraman. Uh, what I'm doing is we've got an industrial, like, uh, theater style uh, fog machine someone gave me because it wasn't working. Uh, we did make a video on it, but, uh, well, it was just dirty, so we cleaned it up and it worked. So I don't know if I'll post that video or not. But it does put out a lot of fog, uh, but it's designed to pretty much uh, smoke up a room. Uh, for lasers and stuff like that, uh, not really for Halloween. So what we're going to do is we're going to mod it a little bit. We're going to do some of what other people have done on the internet. Uh, we're going to we're going to rather than put a hose on this, we're going to take this sprayer off, and we're going to put our own. We're going to make our own little sprayer uh, nozzle, and uh, and then the hot smoke will come out of here. But rather than dissipating and filling an entire room. Uh, which isn't really much of a fog, it's not spooky like Halloween. Uh, we have to cool the smoke, and I've seen several things on the internet, and some of them are pretty clever. I'm going to do something similar, but a little different. I am going to fill this bucket with uh, ice, and probably water and salt, and I want to put uh, essentially a coil of copper, uh, copper coil inside here. Uh, the smoke will then come under pressure somewhat out of this fog machine into the coil, and then we'll get chilled in this bucket and so when the smoke comes back out again through that pipe uh, it will uh, be really cold and it will stay low to the ground and it will have that spooky look to it so let's get to building okay a quick trip to the uh, Home Depot store and uh, I took the this is the tip off the smoker um, it basically produces it's got a little tiny hole in it really tiny I have zoomed in uh, okay thank you um, and uh, that's fine because it's supposed to basically uh, produce the smoke under pressure and shoot out this hole across the room. We really don't want that. We just want the smoke to come out and then cool it down to really low temperature so it stays on the ground. So I picked up this little barb that will attach right over top of where this was. Wait, show the bar. This is a little barb with the uh, same uh, threads. Uh. <laughs> that's good. Um, and then I got some radiator hose from the uh, heart or the auto uh, from the part store. If we'll go on, we'll put a hose clamp in case there's any pressure. Uh, this will go um, into some, we got, uh, it was like $15 for 20 feet of this uh, copper uh, uh, coil. Um, this is a quarter inch copper coil. This is what you'd use for old, just refrigerator line for, uh, uh, for like a ice maker in a refrigerator or something. At any rate, it's there, and 20 feet of this will get coiled up and put in the bucket. It's really going to be that simple, so let's get to building. I've got my coil. All I really did was uh, I tightened the coil just a little bit, and then I ran one the bottom up to the top, and this will sit down in the bucket now. And this will get filled with, uh, this. put this in first, then we'll put the ice and water in second. Okay, we're ready for our first test run. We have our fog machine here warming up. This black hose will go into one side of the coil. This clear hose will go into the other side of the coil. But before we do that, we will take and put ice in the bucket and then the salt water mix to make the ice uh, chilled colder. Dry ice might be preferable, but I didn't want to bother. That should chill the smoke down, come through this, and from what I've seen on the internet, people uh, put a, a bag over the end of the tube so that that chilled smoke comes out and kind of lofts out from under that, making a really low, it doesn't like get up in the air high. As long as it stays low, the smoke will, will kind of crawl along the ground. So let's uh, fire this up. Just gotta push the button to get one minute of smoke and then one minute before it warms up again and then one minute of smoke and you just keep cycling like that as you hold the button down.
Well, I definitely see smoke coming out of the nose. But I don't see it coming out of anything else yet. Okay. I was not too smart. I thought other people had ran a, a big hose from that through like a just a box with dry ice in it and then just out of the box and then it would just it would just smoke out of the box real nice and cool. I thought I was going to be super smart and I was going to put hot smoke out of there into this chiller and then cold smoke would come out. Unfortunately, I didn't think very well. That chiller chills in that ice water with the salt chills all the smoke and condenses it back down to a liquid, of course. Duh. And then of course it just fills with the liquid that was the smoke and then nothing comes out the other side. You know, a little puff at the beginning but then once the lines fill with somewhat condensed steam from the from the fog machine and it just plugs up with that and that's the end of that. So complete adjunct failure I think is how you say it. I think I'll just have to go with a get a hose on that. I got some old hose I can hook up to that. The, just a big big hose just to get it into a box with some dry ice and then just let it work because I know I've seen that work on the internet. This is a failure and anything that would do this would be a failure because it would chill it too much. You can't chill it that much or nothing's going to come out the other side. Okay, just to say I didn't give up without trying. I cut off to 20 feet and I'm down to like a little over a foot, foot and a half coil. I'll dip that back in the bucket. And I know this thing is putting out a lot of fog, but it's hot. Maybe if I can get that short enough and just dip it in a bucket, maybe shorten this line some. Uh, maybe I get something to work. If not, I tried more. Okay, same problem. Um, it's actually easier to see because this time you can actually see the water spitting up the condensed basically steam the fog turns back into a liquid So I'm going to shorten this hose so I get a little bit more pressure into this and I'm going to shorten this coil to like maybe six inches and uh, See if it can <laughs> see if that will work And then I'm going to just actually take this off completely just to see if I can get cold smoke to come out without any back pressure Okay, this should not be over chilling anything. Short hose, less than uh, maybe eight inches. Okay, I've managed to make a perk, a percolator. I was trying to make a coffee pot, I succeeded. <laughs> That's all it does. This is such a fail. Okay, I'm having a bit of an epiphany here. I think I know why this stuff on the internet works and it's nothing to do with the fact that they're using a fog machine because if I use a fog machine which puts out 200 degrees Celsius fog it's gonna mist even with this short little pipe it mists in the air if or even under the plastic it mists and goes up even if you take that that radiator hose which is a rubber and just dunk it just a little bit into that water you chill that hot smoke and all you get out this end is hot water vapor basically the <clears throat> just the condensed fog machine but it's hot that liquid that comes out is hot so what's happening is these people that are making this work on the internet they're using a a cooler of dry ice and and all they're doing is blowing that hot fog machine steam into the cooler of dry ice. The dry ice, of course, reacts with the hot steam and, you know, produces what dry ice does. It gets all steamy. And then, of course, what comes out the other side of the box? Just dry ice, carbon dioxide, condensed carbon dioxide, dry ice, standard. You could take a bucket of dry ice and just, just throw some water water in it, it's going to do exactly the same thing, you don't need a smoke machine. Um, that's just providing some pressure. Basically you could just put a warm water, in a, or just some water in a bucket with dry ice and a fan on it, because that's just acting like a blower really. So I'm not going to get this to work unless I use dry ice, and then when I use dry ice of course I'm, then I'm just, duh, I'm using dry ice. <sighs> mm. 
Well, there. I worked all afternoon on a Saturday, Sunday. I had fun. I learned something. I learned what what YouTube was really, they were just confused and I didn't think it through. I knew they were using dry ice and I kind of thought, well, dry ice is going to do this anyway. What does the fog machine have to do with it? I remember thinking that and I thought, oh well, you know, it's probably adding to it. But it's not. No, the fog machine has nothing to do with the effect. Uh, other than, of course, it's, it's heating the dry ice. And that's it. It just heats the dry ice. You're not going to chill that, that fog machine um, vapor and make dense fog. You're just not. It's just going to be dry ice only. You know, maybe that's what the people knew. Maybe they knew they were doing that. You know, they, maybe they didn't. Maybe they didn't know the fog machine was just heating the dry ice. You know, I don't know. You, you, you don't need a fog machine to, to do that, of course. I was just thinking I had a fog machine that didn't do what I wanted it to do. And they're not designed for this anyway. These fog machines are designed to fill a room with sort of a thin fog so that lasers and stuff will show up and not really obstruct vision and or cause breathing problems. And that's what it does. It does that very well. Uh, so, you know, it's a special effect thing for uh, for concerts and stuff. It's, it's not meant for Halloween, you know. But, you know, I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out. Nah, you know, I learned. <laughs> so, I don't know. It'd be nice just to put some dry ice in a bucket and, and some... Basically, I could just hook this up as is and just, just to pressurize the bucket with dry ice. Just, you know, but I could do that with just any type of blower motor. I don't need a fog machine, so I could do it. But Halloween's only a couple days away, and I'm just going to hook this standard smoke machine up outside. Just let it smoke up the bushes. And it'll look more like a fire than, <laughs> than the fog. But, oh well. A failure, mark up one for a failure. And probably not thinking it through properly. <laughs> so, thanks for joining